Well, here we are at it again. This is going to be a variation of Aunt Teresa's banana pudding graham cracker type of dessert that we made the other day. Today, we have a graham cracker pie crust. This has already been made. We bought that at the store. Some chocolate pudding, and this time we're using the instant graham crackers, and I have three cut up bananas. So the first thing we have to do is make this pudding. This is instant pudding, so it just goes into the milk. Normally, you would use, according to the directions, two cups of milk, but because we're going to put it in a pie, they want us to use just one and three quarter cups. And this has to be whisked for about two minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to set the husband to work, putting the bananas in the bottom of the pie crust. That's my job, huh? Yeah. And I'm using um, a four cup measuring cup to do this pudding because more of the whisk is going to be in the pudding and it will help to, to get it um, mixed better. Banana. Yeah, yeah, bananas don't don't feel moist, but when you cut them, they, they sure are. And this is getting nice and thick. Um, this is just the Stop and Shop brand pudding. Give it a nice. No plug for Stop and Shop. We just it's our closest store. <laughs> you could also do this with a mixer, but I didn't want to get my mixer out. Don't really need it. Not for two really. minutes. You want me to mix it? No, just about done. Right. Just about done. How many bananas are cut here? There are three bananas that are cut. Okay. You there, might need whoop, more than that. This is a mess. Well, well, we started with three because I didn't know if we were going to do layers or not. Yeah, we're going to do layers. Um, Alright, so this makes a cup and three quarters. Of pudding. So you have graham crackers, right? There are graham crackers here. Yeah. Okay, so we have the first layer of bananas. One layer can I do it? Okay, yeah. so we're going to put Show the bananas. Yes. Show the layer. Bananas, and we're going to put some pudding on top of that. About half of it. You want to do half and well, see if we can do another layer? Yeah. All right. Well, let me get a um. Let me try a ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. Oh yeah, because that's nice and thick. I'm sure it'll thicken more. Oh yeah, when this gets in the refrigerator, it, it will thicken up more. Oh, it's going to need another layer. Another layer. Might have to make the other, um, oh, we have some pudding left over, though. I'll eat that one. The There's three prepared left over. One. Yeah, I'd like it to all be the same if we can. Alright, so we want to do another layer? Well, we got to get sure. graham cracker on it. Well, that, let's get the graham crackers out. Let's All get right, going. Well, okay, let's bossy. get going. That man there. Just a little bit more here. Pudding looks good. This instant pudding is great. I remember my dad loved pudding. And he threw it open. To, I got slimy fingers now. We used to have to um, make it on the stove. Yeah, you still could. So. So we want to just start and yeah. fill in the sides. Well, all right. All right. Well, if it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Get it in there. Okay, more bananas. More, more bananas. bananas. Banana, banana, banana. Uh, um, the crackers get softer once the pudding is on there, so this will be easier to cut later. Oh, they are a little moist. Mm -hmm. I cut them a few minutes ago, and they've been sitting on the plate while we were getting the camera set up. And they did get kind of moist feeling. This should be enough, I think. Uh, we got to fill that in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want to go another layer. No, it'll just be the two layers for this, this one. for this one. But yeah, this will be enough. Well, maybe we'll get all these in. Yeah. So this was three bananas and um, one package of pudding, the pie crust. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Yes, pudding, pudding. And we 
careful with this now because uh, this got a lot thicker just as it was sitting here. Oh my goodness. So you can pour it into cups now. You have little pudding cups. <laughs> yeah, these... Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm going to have to get a little more spoon. And the, these, this graham cracker crust also comes in like um, single serving sizes. Mm. Yeah, I guess we could have done that. A couple of bananas, some pudding. Mm -hmm. You want graham cracker, Claire? I don't think anybody's going to see you in there. Okay? Oh, goodness. Well, all right. This would be a very pretty dessert to bring if you put um, a little bit of graham cracker crumbs on top and then oh, maybe some Cool Whip or... Um, yeah. Also, uh, what I was having the other dessert where we were layering it in the loaf pan, I put some cinnamon on it and that, I really like that too. So you could either sprinkle some cinnamon or use a um, cinnamon flavored graham cracker. I'm going to get some more out of there. Okay. I think I can get a little more out of there. Okay. Yeah, this did thicken up pretty quickly. They also sell these... And what about um, the cover it came with? We can put that right on it yeah. and let it sit in the fridge, right? They also sell these pie crust um, Oreo flavor. So you could use maybe vanilla pudding in the Oreos. Oreo cookies. Mm. All right, so well, that's very pretty. You know what? I think this mixed pudding tastes better than the... Um, Probably. The stuff that was already made. Now this pie cover came in the pie crust. It was this way. So I washed it because I don't know if somebody, you know, sneezed or whatever on it. So, well. Yeah. Push it down. Don't push down. Don't push down. I don't, yeah. I'm just pushing some of these little pieces over. Um, you could also put tin foil, but this way the top stays nice. So that's it. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for... About an hour. Yeah, at least an hour. That's what we did last time. And see the banana's escaping. We have an escaping banana. No, that's all right. Um, after an hour, the cookies will get soft enough that they can be sliced, and we'll see if we can get a nice, pretty pie-shaped cut out of that. So, that's it. And we'll show you how it ends up later.